Today I'm going to show you how I make pierogi for my business. Please note that this is a commercial kitchen so it will be noisy at points in the video. These are a labor of love but they taste so much better than those store-bought ones. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make my new pierogi dough and how we make pierogies here. I actually have a business selling pierogies and I've gotten my dough and recipe down to perfect so I'm going to share it with you today. It is different from my other video which is why I am updating it. So in here I have three cups of milk, two sticks of butter, one tablespoon and one teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm going to pop this in the microwave to melt the butter down and heat the milk up. Okay so while the milk and butter are heating up I'm going to crack 16 egg yolks into the container. We put our egg yolks in here and here we have our butter and milk. I'm going to pour it in. It's okay if some of the butter isn't completely melted, it will get mixed in with the dough. We're going to add in about half our flour. We figure that it, it's usually about 13 cups that gives us a good dough. So we're going to start with about six and a half, seven cups of flour. We're going to turn the mixer on, let it mix a little bit, and then we will add more flour in. A good indication that the dough is ready, it comes off the sides of the bowls with ease. If the dough is too dry, just add a little bit of water and it will help bring it back together. It's done, so I just have some plastic wrap here. We're going to spray it with some oil. This is just veggie spray, and we're going to put our dough on here. Be sure to let your dough rest at least 15 minutes to help the glutens relax. I cut my dough into four pieces so I can work with one piece at a time. Otherwise, it gets too dry. So be sure to keep the rest of the dough that you're not using at the time wrapped tightly. We make the potatoes ahead of time so they have time to cool before making the pierogi. We use a one and a half tablespoon scoop to put our potatoes in our pierogi. We find this is the right amount for our dough. We scoop it and run it alongside to create a flat edge on the bottom. You can find the recipe for our mashed potatoes in the description below. Okay, so now he's just using one quarter of the dough. This is where you would roll it out. This is the dough sheeter, so basically we just run it through and it does all the work for us. We have hand rolled thousands of pierogies and we finally invested in the roller, which saves a lot of time and it also yields a lot of product. So he's just thinning it down a little bit to fit it through the roller. pan with flour here. This is where the pierogies are going to go before they get cooked. And he's going to show you how we form the pierogies now. We have a dish of water and you just go around <laughs> and then you fold it, pinch it in the center and then you go around the edges and work your way around the other side. And we have a container of flour because your fingers do get sticky from the dough so this just helps you to be able to crimp it and then we put it on the pan. Once we have enough on the pan, we'll put these in the fridge to firm up a little bit and then we'll cook them. I have a pot of water on and I also salt the water. I have a container with ice water in it to dip the pierogies in when you're done. These are the ones that are going in. And then also I have a bowl with oil, which I'll show you later. So this is boiling, I'm just gonna put it in like to stir the bottom to make sure that they don't get stuck to the bottom of the pot. Just go very gentle. We have some in here already. They are getting cooled off. They are floating to the top. And if you look, you can kind of see the dough is darker in the center. So I'm just letting them cook a little bit longer. After they're done chilling in the ice water, I put them in this perforated pan to drain off any excess water. And then in here, I'm going to pour some oil. And I coat them in oil so they don't stick to each other. Now normally we portion these in dozen packages, but because I'm 
offering these for a function. I'm just laying them in bulk in a pan. I'll show you that. Okay, these are all coated, so I'm just going to put them in the pan here. And I just like to organize them so they're not on top of each other. You don't want them sticking together. And then I'll fold this piece of parchment down and I will layer the next layer on top of this. And this is where you do a pierogi high five for a job well done. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. The traditional pierogi is made with farmer's cheese. However, I use cream cheese in mine because it's less expensive and my customers love it. So I say just use whatever you like and go with it. I hope you found this video helpful. I'd love if you gave me a thumbs up. Have a great day.